girls are trained in compliance from day one and the training continues throughout womanhood. We are trained to be accommodating, nice, quiet. We are trained to make ourselves small and to put others' wants ahead of our needs. We are trained to override our natural instincts, our instincts to fight, to run away, to be combative, to be aggressive, assertive. We are trained to replace those instincts with automatic behavior, passivity, and politeness. And the training is continual and strong and effective. And if you go against the training, you are punished. If you stand up for yourself, you are denigrated. If you set boundaries, if you make demands, and you are angry in the face of injustice, you are shamed. You're a Karen. You're a bitch. You're a bossy girl. You're hysterical, crazy, insane cold, mean, or needy. That is part of the training. That is telling you that you failed the assignment, do better next time. And those often insidious punishments shape our behavior. The training that girls and women go through is like the training that first responders go through. What do I mean? Take, for example, a SWAT team. It might seem on the surface like a strange analogy, but stay with me. When a SWAT team has to enter an unknown building and encounter an unknown threat, they have to just react. They may not have time to stop and think and do a thorough assessment. They just have to react and they are able to react effectively because they've drilled in those scenarios over and over and over again. So they don't have to think and they don't have to go by their instinct. They just react according to their training. Women are drilled in the same way. We're drilled so that no matter the situation, we default to politeness and accommodation. We don't think, we don't go by our instinct, we react according to our training. We run through these scenarios over and over in our training throughout our whole lives. The training is constant and continual so that when we encounter an unknown novel threat, we default to the reaction that we've been trained to have. And that reaction to any and every scenario is politeness and accommodation. Women get killed because they are polite. Think about Ted Bundy's victims. He feigned broken limbs so women would help him put his groceries in his car. He knew that women are trained to be polite and sympathetic and he took advantage of that weak spot and blind spot in women. Women get raped because they are polite. Women get manipulated because they are polite. And it's not our instinct to be polite, it's our training. Even when a woman's gut feeling tells her she's in danger, she overrides that instinct and instead falls back on her training. And women who get killed or hurt for being polite are not to blame. The blame should be placed on those who trained these women and of course, the perpetrators. Men are well aware that women are vulnerable in this way and they take advantage of it. They don't expect women to fight back. They don't expect women to speak up. They don't expect women to say no because they know we are trained. We are trained not to. Let's talk about Parking Lot Lady. Parking Lot Lady has a name and it is Danielle Mitchell. A few weeks ago, Danielle made a short video about an experience she had and posted it online. Let's watch it now. So this guy, I am a alone with my son, by myself, a woman, and a male approached me in a parking lot. He's excuse me, miss, and I don't know why in the hell he was approaching me or what he was trying to do. And before he, I mean, he was probably 30 feet from me when he said, excuse me, ma'am. And I turned around and I literally yelled at him and I said, do not approach me. And he like immediately started going in the other direction. And I just kept saying it over and over and over. I said, do not approach me, do not approach me. And he of course like got like, 
what the f like he started cussing and yelling like what what's your problem and i and i looked at him and he started he actually then crossed a couple cars down from my car and he didn't come anywhere near me he crossed a couple cars down from my car and was like what's con continuing to cuss and say what's your problem and i said you do not approach women in a parking lot i just kept saying do not approach me you do not approach women in a parking lot like yelling it no male no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot ever should no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot and if a male does approach you you need to turn around and use the strongest voice that you can possibly use with them don't be polite they need to literally screw off no male should be approaching you in a parking lot i think this video is awesome and it's what a lot of women and men need to hear this is a woman who has somehow been able to transcend the indoctrination and grooming that we as women are subjected to and to retrain herself to be not just assertive, but unapologetically aggressive in public in a really admirable way. And it's refreshing to see a woman standing up for herself and pursuing a course of action that asserts her power and asserts her rights to navigate this world safely. And of course, she was thoroughly trashed online. She was called a Karen. She was called extra. And the predictable, not all men are like that comments came out. And you know what that all is? That is the training. I want you to see it. I want you to be aware of it. Comments and treatment like that about and toward a woman who is asserting her right to travel through this world unharmed and unmolested by strange men are part of the training. And it's not about training her because they already lost Danielle. It's about signaling to other women. It tells women who witness this online tomato throwing that if you act as Danielle did and you assert yourself, you will be publicly shamed and excoriated and embarrassed. That is a signal to you, sister. You have to fight back against this training. First, you have to see it and then you have to undo it. And it's not easy when it's not a one-time thing we're subjected to. It's something we are constantly being bombarded with. But the truth is we don't owe anyone anything. We don't owe strangers, especially strange men, politeness or niceness because we occupy female bodies. No one in public is entitled to your time or attention. We have to stand up not only for ourselves, but we also need to stand up for other women who stand up for themselves. And we need to fight against this narrative that women who speak up are crazy bitches because that narrative keeps us all weak and it's keeping us playing these polite passive roles that only end up keeping us in danger. So I will say, thank you, Danielle for speaking up for yourself and for speaking up on behalf of all women and asserting your right to safety and in doing so asserting every woman's right to safety. You are a heroine and a role model and I appreciate you. Thank you. And thank you for watching and listening and I will see you next time. Take care, stay safe and stand up for yourself and your sisters. Peace.